Hello and welcome to the Fruitful Hands Knitting Podcast. I'm Katie. And I'm Diana. And we're a mother-daughter knitting duo. I guess, I don't think I said that last time. You didn't? But most mother people daughter. say that. Yeah. Like uh, Julie from the Knitty Cats, she mentioned us in her last podcast oh, really? and she said mother-daughter duo. So I oh, guess we're the, we could say the dynamic duo. Dynamic. Not yeah. so much. <laughs> not, her not Sometimes, always that dynamic. <laughs> not always that dynamic. Uh, Sometimes it feels like it, but yes. not always. But yeah. yeah, we are definitely a mother-daughter duo. Yes. We love to knit. We love mm -hmm. a, a other making things as well, but our main emphasis yeah. is on knitting because it just brings us great joy, mm -hmm. honestly. I feel like it's a good craft. You can take it with you. Yes. You don't have to get out. Like, I love sewing, but it, you have to get out the sewing yeah. machine and you feel like you need to, like, make a lot of progress. Right. So. Right. Because you have to get everything out. Yeah. And it's, yes. Mm -hmm. And so, noisy. And, and, yeah. And, and it's, you know, it's not like you can do that and watch kids. Right. At the same time, right. generally. Some, now, people some, can. some people can. I wasn't able to do that yeah. most of the time. Yeah. But, yeah. So, we love to knit. Yes. And if you're here, you probably do too. Yeah. Yeah. So thank and you for joining yeah. us. Thanks for joining us. Those of you that are watching us for the first time and those of you that are coming back. Well, yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like, yeah. Thank you, friends. We're glad kind. you're here. Yes. Yeah. All your comments yes. are so encouraging mm -hmm. and, and keep us wanting to do, talk to y'all more. Absolutely. Show you what we're doing. Um, and what we're thinking about doing. Yes. So yeah, thank you all so much mm -hmm. for supporting us. I don't understand anything about YouTube or how it works, but I know that affects mm -hmm. if your podcast is recommended to other viewers. Right. So right. that's what that does when we comment on, on podcasts and when mm -hmm. we like podcasts, that makes them go you know, to more people, the right. more people that like, because right. they figure, okay, if they like them, then other people like them too. Right. So that's the point of that. So yeah. to all you to do that, thank yeah, you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. It's very kind. Yeah. So we are on the farm today and we're in the front room. That's yes. what my grandma used to call her. <laughs> this is kind of, we have our dining table in here. It's kind of on the other side of the mm -hmm. mannequin and um, it's probably supposed to be the living room, but we have a table that seats you know, normally seats, what, eight? Mm -hmm. And we can get yeah. like 15 around it. Mm -hmm. So, and we have a couch in here and we've pushed it forward. So if things look a little <laughs> discombobulated, that's why. <laughs> it's a little, we had to rearrange some furniture. Yes. And that's our chalkboard yep. we use for, it's been up for 20 years. Um, we don't, the kids, the grandkids draw on it. Mm -hmm. And the big kids draw on it for Pictionary at Christmas yeah. time. So it's still in use, so we've left it. Yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> this is kind of a gathering spot. Yes. Um, so like I said, we're on the farm. Yeah. Uh, it, today is Friday. Yes. The 22nd of September. Which means tomorrow is Ranunculus. Fall into Ranunculus Cal 2023. <laughs> Man, that's a mouthful. Ooh, yeah. Who thought that up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I did. Sorry. But it was a good one. It was a good thought. It was, yeah. So the hashtag is up. Mm -hmm. And I saw you tagged it, but it didn't show up in the hashtag. I think Insta. stories might not. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Okay. And it might take a day or... I don't know. I'm going to mention this now because people have mentioned it and they've reached out. Miss Violet reached out to us and wanted to know how she could join the knit along. You just post to Instagram a picture of your, you know, of your binoculars either as you're working Whatever. on it in progress mm -hmm. or when you're finished and then use that hashtag. So it's a, that long hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can copy it and then paste it on your post, that's fine too. But ha I think if you could do that. Yeah, probably. you can. But, but what happens is when you hashtag your picture, then it gets put over on that other Instagram post with all the other hashtag It's pictures. like a folder of everyone's yes. pictures that yes. have that hashtag. Yes. So we can go to that folder. Yes. Some of y'all are probably cringing it. No, you're not. They, <laughs> listen, they reality. understand. I understand what you're saying. I know most yes. of my friends out there will understand what you're saying. So, so that's how that works. Yeah. Younger people, y'all know all the terms. Yeah. And thank you. And if you want to shout them out, do it because we read them. Yes. And, yes. um, but yeah, so that's how, and then from that hashtag folder, mm -hmm. um, we will choose a winner and mm -hmm. you can, if you type in that hashtag either on your post 
or up in the search bar, it will take you to that hashtag and you see, you yeah. can see everybody else's stuff. Yeah. That's the beauty of that. Mm -hmm. That's so we can all enjoy the, the journey with everybody. Right. So we'll talk about that a little more, yes. bit more when we get into the binoculars. But yeah. yeah, that's, I just wanted to make sure you don't have to send in your name. You don't have to do anything other than use the hashtag when you post yep. it to Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That was um, yeah. This is probably going to mostly be about the binoculars, but it we is. have a little bit of like, admin stuff real oh, quick yeah, yeah. But the first thing is i do want to encourage everybody to go to the uh kentucky wool festival up in falmouth kentucky it is uh, october 6th and 8th so it's just around the corner corner yeah. hopefully the leaves will be glorious the one time mm -hmm. we went 15 years ago it was a beautiful drive it's out in the country i don't know that i'll get to make it mm -hmm. i may get a little cray cray and run up there but probably not but um, yeah, also third week in October, 22nd, around in that area, mm -hmm. the SAF uh, Festival down in uh, Fletcher, North Carolina will be going on. There'll be a ton of people there. Not a ton. Mm -hmm. of, well, there will maybe yeah. a ton of people. I don't know. But there'll be a lot of people there and there'll be a lot of vendors and a lot of indie dyers and a lot of small businesses. So if you are a knitter or a crocheter or a felter spinner. or spinner. Yeah, go check them out. Mm -hmm. It's it, We had a lovely time yeah, when we were there. Yeah, that was so. really fun. And of course, Ryan Beck will be going on the same weekend up north. So there you go. So yeah. there's Lots plenty to stuff. do. Yeah, yeah, go do it. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. So is there, oh yeah. Oh, the one thing I told you all about <laughs> last week, there is the winter's gonna be, or winter. It, Several people have said they've heard it's going to be a harsh winter. Oh, okay. I mentioned the woolly worm. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any woolly worms. Some this people year. were asking what a woolly worm I is. I know. Because yeah. I didn't know the technical term. But I'm going to show you. Um, I love, it's what just so fun. Like, you realize, okay. you know, what's like regional and stuff. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. I yeah. guess, like, or like even yeah. terms and stuff. Yes. Like, and I don't what know. their little you know, idiosyncrasies, on right. to, whatever. Yeah. What, what they are, um, like my grandparents, I mean, they, I mean, I don't, I mean, they, my granddad, he followed the almanac, the farmer's mm -hmm. almanac for planting and harvesting and all the stuff. So, um, and you know, so we did have some little kind of odd things and the woolly worm was one. Now, uh -huh. I don't know how much they believe that that was actually a you know, a predictor. I don't yeah. know, but, right. uh, but that's what we did. So this it's called, it is the, is the technical term is the Isabella tiger moth. Isn't that a great yeah. name? So this is what it looks like. See that? Woolly worm. So we were always told that's a woolly worm. We just call them woolly worms. If the two black ends, if the ends, the black ends are fuller or more than the, the kind of, reddish mm -hmm. orangey in the middle then it's going to be a harsh winter the two of them together mm -hmm. bigger or just yes. well like this one i don't know maybe the yeah. front end of one, i don't know mm -hmm. which end that is but like this one would be a uh, mild yeah winter yeah because you know see how the not, red is so yeah big. the red is so big yeah this one is kind of you know probably a mild so none of these i have seen completely black ones before oh. now like i said i have not seen any this this season so yeah. we'll see and this is what i think that it turns no that's not it <laughs> trying to find the, the uh -huh, little moth, the moth it turns into it turns into a moth eventually um yeah so oh it's called a woolly bear caterpillar as well huh hmm. weather predictors yeah so uh and this is the moth that it turns into I think so. well it says if it's a woolly bear that's it oh yeah this one Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Y'all look it up. Or I'm going to show you because she said no. I don't want to <laughs> well, be, no. I don't I be don't spreading know. anything that's false. Nothing false around here. But yeah, I was trying to find a really, you know, one that had a had lot a of, black. yeah, but I can't. So that's a woolly worm. And of course it is known as Is Isabella tiger moth. And on here it might also be known as the woolly bear caterpillar. So if I see one, I'll let you know. Yes. Yeah. And if y'all see one, let me know. <laughs> yeah, and if you have any odd things like that in your region or area, mm -hmm. let us know. They're yeah, always interesting, you know, because, I mean, you know, I can remember before we had TV and, yeah, you know, so, you know, those things kind of probably helped. Pass the time. Pass the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pass the <laughs> entertainment. Yes. Okay. So I think that's all. Do you have anything from the last? No. Okay. 
No, I don't think I made any other faux pas or anything about mm -hmm. like the wrong name for podcasts or anything. I don't think so. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, finished objects. No, nothing. no finished objects. What about you? I, I was hoping, but object. nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I got my hair cut, y'all. Yeah, that's see. You. I got probably I don't know how many inches, but I thought it'd be easier in the coming months to have shorter hair. So we yeah. kept the hair. Okay. So this, as y'all know, is my little Elwood, Yay. and I got the buttons on it. Aren't it's those so darling? Cute. That is really sweet. So I put four buttons on it. This is a, a superwash, merino, mad tosh, no. Farewell, I think, is a color. Mm -hmm. And the brown is Malabrigo. It's a worsted. So there, so Cute. she can wash. And then look at this one. This is Peanut by Tin Can Knits. So That's you have so that. There's, yeah, it looks like I need, I blocked it, but I do need to sew an end. So <laughs> this is their little sweaters for Christmas. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I loved knitting those. Uh, it was... Uh, Fast knits, fast knits. So I will put all the information below. I think I was on six or sevens and needles. I mean, these took no time. And the, yeah, yeah, nice. I mean, it just, and you could work it in, you know, you could use woolly wool. I did this because it, it's easy. If it accidentally gets thrown in the washer, it's yeah. not going to shrink on her. So that is the purpose of that. And I have to, there's one more grandchild in that family group. So I need to knit her sweater. And I picked out the yarn and I actually Yay. started on it. Oh. I'll show you that next week. Okay. Okay. Then uh, whips. Do you have any whips? Uh, I do. I'll okay. just show this really quick. Perfect. I finished one of the socks Yay. for my husband. Yes. Ooh. Yay. Um, so Did that's he, Has exciting. he tried it on? No. Okay. And then I started, I'm, I mean... You know, I'm getting there. That's I really, a lot of knitting. <laughs> well, and like last week, it was I was like still on this sock. Yes, in here. So anyway, so she's done a lot of knitting. I'm trying to get these done. I would love to get them done by tomorrow. That's not going to happen. Um, yeah, well, but you never know. I am not going to have enough of this brown to do the socks to to do the toe. So I need yeah. to take out this toe, and I'm going to do this color for the toes. Well, yeah, it's a little bit sad to yeah. like. Well, the reason that happened was because yes. she made the heel, two the heel rows, flap two rows two longer. Two rows longer. So any modification. But I had made this shorter. Oh. I don't know. I just. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't have enough. Yeah. Whether I did. So if you're. So this, the, the moral of that story is mm -hmm. if you're knitting larger socks. Yeah. Because. Exactly. Yeah. 120 gram is. If you're making them big. If you're modifying. Yeah. They're not. It's not going to do the heel yeah. toe and cuff. Right. Exactly. Those are gorgeous. I love them. Morning coffee sock by the crazy sock lady. And it's explorants and fibers. Yeah, she did it. Wow. Yeah, it's Sorry. been a chaotic morning. <laughs> pre, pre, I feel pre, like pre, I, pre. I feel like every Friends. time though we say it's been crazy, so I feel like it, I know. It's, it's just, that way for everybody. It is that way for it everybody. Just, yeah. Here is my Tessellated. Yes. Right. Okay. And this little marker was where I was last time. Yay! Yay. So I am making progress. Nice. This, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This is not my favorite knit. Mm. It is very meditative. And if I just need to be still and knit and not think about anything, this is a knit, but it doesn't go fast mm -hmm. at all. And so, and the, and it's beautiful. And I, I have friends that are like, oh, you got to finish it. It's yeah. beautiful. And I think I've made a, a, a design element here and there. Is that two rows of green right there or one? I don't know. Oh, it's one. one. Okay. Yeah, one. So it's mosaic knitting. It's very easy. You're only knitting with one color at a time. Uh, I love the finished object. So this is, that's why I'm knitting this. It's not the process. Because yeah. it's 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 a beautiful it's be vest, it's gonna be yeah. beautiful it's a vest so I don't have to do sleeves right. so you know I'm gonna finish it mm -hmm. and I'm gonna wear it because I'm gonna love it yeah I love Andrea's designs mm -hmm. so this is no different I love it it's just I mean I, I'm in a season of okay let's get them done yeah and this yes. is not one of those which is yeah. fine so maybe I need oh. to slow down I'm with you and that's the lesson there <laughs> okay what are you doing now. This is my, I, I had to cast it on because I was like, people are going to start 
doubting, not, not believing me. <laughs> um, and my little yellow, my LYS sweater. Yay! Um, on size one needles. Oh yeah. And this is the cuff of the sleeve, and I'm just okay. Is that a tubular cast on? Um, or just a regular? No, but what it kind? was weird. You did a long tail cast uh -huh. on, and then you did. It's pretty. Like double knitting. Okay. But it's not, it's not a, that doesn't look tubular. No, like I, it doesn't. But it's very know. dainty looking. Yeah. See that? It's very dainty looking. So maybe I didn't do what she told me to do because I think it's I was really supposed pretty. to end up with a tubular. But it's but really, it's but it looks very dainty. Yeah. And that sweater is very, so that's a cute. So whatever you did, just make sure you just remember. Going. So, like that. yeah, no, that's good. So, yeah. um, Lobby Enemy, Yellow Brick Look Road. how nice her and plump yeah. her little. I'm so excited about this yeah. little sweater. It's going to be a process knit. It but is. I've started it. Yeah. And, and it's going. Go yeah. And she's doing going. a good job. Yep. Okay. So ready? <laughs> yes. For my next one. Are you really ready? Uh-oh. What'd you do? What in the world? I am not more charm. <laughs> When did you just start this? I don't know. The end of last week, maybe. Look. Look. Remember, what? this is the one. I yes. almost finished the sleeve last night, and it was so late in the night. I just am not going to do it. Yes. Really what in the world? But it's like yours. I tried it on last night. It's going to be a little big here. Yeah. But that's okay. That's it's cute, just though. kind of a, yeah. I needed a fall sweater. Yeah. And I, well, you, you're doing it. No I word. really love it. That is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It is uh, Lobby Enemies Corey Confetti Yarn. Yeah. I don't remember. Mm. Isn't that that cute? Is it's so going to be really cute. So, yeah. So, this, I mean, the label is just, look at the label. The label. Super fun. Isn't that cute? It is, uh, what is the color? Can you see it? I can't. Uh, Our RGO. RGO. Right? RGO. Corey Confetti, maybe? I don't the, know. It's, it's the, it doesn't have like. It RGO. must be RGO. I think yeah. it's RGO. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. There's 250 yards. It's 50% Falkland Corydale, 30% recycled fibers, 20% Lobby Enemy recycled threads. I can't believe you. That is so good. It's a fun net because it has all these speckles. So that's fun. And then it's a Felix pullover. The fastest knit. That's knit on tens. I did the uh, this nice. rib at the, the the collar and the bottom on eight for the ribbing. Mm -hmm. I wanted it a little snugger on the wrist, mm -hmm. so I went down to a seven. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I'm so glad I surprised you. That was a good so, surprise. I'm gonna be playing yarn chicken. Oh, mm -hmm. So this is what I have left. I think it'll be enough, but of course it's a little plump. So this is my little tip. So before I started the sleeves, because mm -hmm. I only had a thousand yards of this yarn, and I think for the one I'm knitting, it takes 950 or 60 yards. Oh. And I always make it a little longer mm -hmm. because I'm long waisted. But I think I knit that nine inches. Okay. From here to here. Yeah. Do you have a tape measure? No. Nope. Okay, I do. <laughs> so we're gonna measure. But I think I knit it. 10 inches, look, uh, or not 10, 9 inches. I'm interested to see what I, do I have a tape measure? Well, of course I don't. Okay, never mind. I don't know. You could do this if you, of, oh, yeah. yes. Can you use that? I don't know where my tape measure is. Do y'all do this? That's the one thing. I wish, y'all have any bag ideas. It's like eight and a half. Eight and a half, okay. okay. And it's very long. It is very long. And it is... Uh, I'm afraid it's going to grow some, mm -hmm. so I thought that was enough because yeah. it's not cropped at all, as you you know. Yeah, I think it's not good. cropped. But anyway, this is a little scale. I think I got this at Target a long time ago, um, but and the top comes out if you want to turn it upside down. I bought a little one at a yarn shop once, and it's about like this. I mean, I can't weigh. Hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can weigh little twenty gram things yeah, on it, but it's not it's not practical. So. I knew that I was going to be close on my sleeves because I've got long arms as well and I wanted them to be the same. So the yarn I had left, I measured mm -hmm. and then I divided it by two and then that's what I'm using for each sleeve yeah. to make sure I have enough. 
Nice. For the other sleeve. Yeah. So hopefully. So it should be enough. So it should be enough. If not, I can take it because it is long. I mean, it goes down to my hips. It's not, mm -hmm. it doesn't, you know, it's just past my hips. I really like it. It's yeah. soft. It's pretty. I think I can wear it next to skin, but we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, I really. That'd be so cute with like a, a jean shirt underneath. Yes. And that's the other thing why mm -hmm. I wasn't upset yeah. about the because I can wear then that was my plan to wear it with my jean shirts. Right. I wear jean shirts a lot. So right. yeah. So yeah, that was fun. I'm so glad I surprised you. Yeah. <laughs> well now I'm gonna show my Felix cardigan that I started. The Felix cardigans two it, weeks before you But came. here's the thing, you're knitting flat. That's a whole different ball game. You're not knitting in the round. It's I only got like an inch done. That's well okay. well I've been the focusing socks. on those socks yeah. like I yeah. really want to get this. This is done. so pretty. So Wonderland yarns. Wonderland yarns. There's I think her. it's great. Yeah. Tea tray or something. Yeah, tea tray. Yeah. It's very Don't good. No, <laughs> it, it, but when you finish that other one, yes. this is going to fly oh, off yeah. your needles. Yeah. But it's a whole different ball game when you're knitting flat and knitting mm -hmm. in the round. Yeah. I mean, it just is. And I've just been focusing on. Yes. But this uses size 10 needles which yes. is used to, on the ranunculus so i'm like oh you gotta fin yeah I, you gotta gotta, I mean i won't finish this i won't I will yeah not finish this the ranunculus is so fast yeah so fast that's all I have. okay i think that's all i have to is it ranunculus time it's ranunculus time i'm gonna because i have ranunculuses yeah. ranunculi sorry ranuncula. i have ranunculi so i'm gonna show you what i have already knit yes in the ranunculus so this one, where did I do with my glasses? Different weights. Different right. weights. Did I, where did I put them? That's yeah, you, I don't think you ever. Yes, I did have them. This is <laughs> embarrassing. Did I put it in my head? Oh, here they are. <laughs> oh, did they fall? Okay. It's like, no, them. they're not on top of my head. <laughs> okay. So, sorry about that, y'all. So, this one and this one. So, I have knit four, I think, is all I've knit. All? Well, I mean, it's been out for a long time. So this first one okay. is, uh, I knit it in 2021. It's out of Tosh Sock uh, Moonstone and it is Camilla Fiber Mohair. Ooh. So it is a very warm sweater. Very fluffy. Um, and it just, uh, I think I just, I didn't have, I don't see. And somebody also asked what my, design and what my notebook looks my journal okay this is it um <laughs> it's not anything I'm fancy sorry. you're all right it's not anything fancy um i just put down the yarn mm -hmm. uh i didn't even put the size on this oh i knit the oh okay it was because yeah. it's this was the first pattern this was the original pattern so i just knit it and uh knit 25 rows and then 10 rib rows for short sleeves Okay. On the sleeves, that's okay. what I did. I knit 25 rows because she has you kind of come off and just kind of finish it. Mm -hmm. I think that's how the pattern's written. I think you're right, but I wanted a sleeve, and these go down just to my elbows. I really like that. Yeah. And then I just did, uh, you know, a little ribbing on in there. This is probably twisted. It looks like twisted rib. Sure but I didn't even put that. Now I put more information on my in my little journal. That's but I nice. love that one. But I it's love very it. warm. It's sweet it mohair, so it's pretty it warm. It is. It is pretty warm. But that was uh I don't see Mantosh. It probably it looks like a DK that mm -hmm. Mantosh. It's not a fingering. So that yeah. had an a that had an impact on the yeah. warmth of it as well. Yeah. Okay, the next one, what is the one I'm wearing? Yay. <laughs> and it's uh, it's a size two. So mm -hmm. it was when the new pattern came out. I knit both of these on size 10 needles. Uh, this is Shibui and MT. It's Tosh Merino Light. I think it's it's a single ply. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I bought this in Hilton Head one summer uh, and it I used one and a half skeins. Each skein was 420, so to 10, so about 630 yards. Mm -hmm. I didn't weigh it, that's just approximation, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and then I put it in my notes that I'll probably knit a size three next time. So here's, this time I put the label and a little bit of the yarn, because that I immediately know. The label mm -hmm. doesn't yeah. say, oh, that's what that one is. But right. this yarn, you know, when I put the yarn in, that immediately, oh yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. So that was number two. Yay. Number three is this, this one. This is fingering, uh, you might've said that, this is fingering This weight. is, yeah, okay. it's a fingering weight. And I am not wearing anything under this. Okay. 
Um, and the bottom is definitely, uh, you can't see through it. Mm -hmm. I can't see through it. Mm -hmm. um, and it depends on where I would go. If I would wear it like this or not, I may put something under it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I could wear this. Nobody would mm -hmm. notice. Without an undershirt. Without an undershirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, there's, you know. So yeah. this one is my third one. And it is made out of, I knit this one last year, 22. Uh, out of Farmer Starter Fibers Foxy Lady, Ludlow's Army is the name of it. I used one and a fourth skein. And I was going to put mohair with it, but mm -hmm. I didn't. I have mohair to match this, and I mm -hmm. have some more of this yarn. This is it, really pretty, though. Isn't it To cute? put over that dress. Yes, to put over that. Yeah. And you so, did a... Yes, I did an I-cord bind off on these sleeves. That's mm -hmm. just a little more delicate looking yeah. to me. That and might then, be what I do on mine. Uh -huh. I do long sleeves and yes. I cord. I've seen that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And That's this, pretty. I don't do the cast on that she does. Mm -hmm. I just do a long tail cast on or German short rope cast on. The only time I've ran into an issue with that is the last one I knit that, with that camel yarn. Mm -hmm. or, it wasn't camel. What was that? No, I was think it? it was. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the camel color, too. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a, it, it rides high. This one does, but it doesn't bother me. Does See? it have short rows in the back? It does have just a okay. few, I think. Look at the pattern. It yeah. looks to me like it does. Yeah. But I, yeah I, think. I think I remember. See, this one's more open than that other one. But it, but sometimes it'll kind of pull mm -hmm. up. It does have just a few short rows. Not yeah. Many. Yeah. So, but this one, um, I started this for the long sleeves direction Mm -hmm. directions but just knit the short and then and that's what you normally do even if you're doing short sleeves you always do the long sleeve directions right? yes okay. yes yes i don't do the short sleeve because like you said short sleeves just ends right at yeah the, you just kind of bind off I like wherever something that is, yeah. yeah you kind of knit maybe one or two rows and mm -hmm. then bind it off and i wanted some more definition yeah. of what was going on this one i just did some ribbing at the bottom mm -hmm. uh twisted rib is that what it's called when you knit through yeah. the back loop yeah, yeah. so half, half twisted rib or yeah. something yeah so it just makes it look a little uh you know I, mm -hmm. this one is a size three or this one is a size three but okay. it doesn't look like it no it? no it doesn't and i knit it on see i haven't sewn in my end so don't <laughs> pay any attention to that you're so bad yeah, i'm so bad <laughs> this uh i knit it on eights and tenths okay. so Yes. Nice. So yeah, I really Yay. like that one. And then this is the last one yes. I knit, and I don't have. Oh, it's I'll, so soft. Yeah, it has. Um, let me look it's because so I don't remember. I didn't bring. I, it, I don't have that one journaled, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. let me. Oh wait. So I'm going to turn notes. What episode was that? Do you remember? Thirty-four. Oh yeah. 30. Uh, and this pattern is by Knit Cafe. Midori Erose, um, and it is 20,000, you lots know, of people. lots <laughs> of people love it. So we're so blessed that that, that is on there. Uh, she's a, it's a wonderful pattern. Yeah. This is camel and silk, uh, 459 yards. I love it. Or, yeah, 100 grams. The Miller Girls is who that was by. And it's a private indie, you know, little farm here. Mm -hmm. It's a longer one, too. Can you tell that? I mean, that's longer than nine inches mm -hmm. from underarm oh, yeah. to the, to the. Oh, that, that one may be with. more than, I don't remember what the pattern says. That was the Felix that I said nine inches. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, but that's the one that has design elements, if you can't tell. And it's beautiful. Yeah. See, this one, I did a little better job. Okay. <laughs> love, love it. Yay. I love all of them. My girls, my 19-year-old, she was wearing something that had just kind of wide straps, mm -hmm. but she wanted something over it. So she grabbed this. Mom, oh. can I wear this? Uh, and Sister C, it uh -huh. was a uh, Bible study one night. And um, Sister C saw her from behind, and she's like, oh, there's a knitter. <laughs> and then she realized, oh, wait, I've seen that before. That is so funny. Yeah. I so that. she knew that, yeah, which is really fun. Aww. So um, I was actually volunteering at my son's co-op yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I took my Felix in there to work on. So oh. I was just working on all these high school kids. Oh, what are you? Some of them knew it was knitting. Some of them oh. knew it was crocheting. Yeah, some of them was. were knitters. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. So I was really encouraged. But, yeah, they were extremely interested. So That's they, awesome. Yeah, say, hey, do y'all want to do a little? Yeah. A little sit class. Knit? Yeah. The little knitting. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so what else do you have? Plans for Renaculous? Yes. Now? Or do you, what is, is that well, the only other thing is this is our knit along is with Amber. Yes. We are co-hosting. Yep. With Amber from a lovely yarn. Her last podcast, she talked about her, mm -hmm. uh, ranunculus plans and the one she's done. And she also put some links in her videos. I think there was a podcast she mentioned and I don't remember what yes. it is. It talked about casting on like how many to cast on and everything, right? Yes, just I think so. just all the deets yeah. of a ranunculus. So go to A Lovely Yarns last yes. podcast to her details. Yeah, <laughs> to her and then look yeah, at her to look at her yeah. show notes. Yeah. yeah, I hate to borrow watch that from it. Her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to just mention real quickly, we'll get back to this, mm -hmm. is Katie did the little words on the screen oh. last time. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so great. She did it. For all the complaining I did on our video, <laughs> well, it really wasn't that hard. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, still, it's just one more thing. Yeah, right. It's just one more thing. You know, yeah, it was, it really wasn't bad. So, so thank you, Katie, for that. We appreciate <laughs> you so much. You don't even know so much. Okay. So like we were saying, Amber is our co-host. Yeah. So she is going to give out a prize on hers mm -hmm. and we are going to give out a prize on hers. I think she's going to do mm -hmm. uh, uh, two prizes, one for international because it can get pricey and we are, both of us are buying our, you know, we are, we are. We are giving the gifts away. Right. The, the things we're giving away. I think someone is, has donated one. To her? Yeah. Okay, for her. And then. Um, good, good, good. Yeah, and I yeah. think it's like, if she draws someone international, then she'll give a pattern to them and yes. draw again. Yes, for for the, uh, the, for give the yarn. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or whatever she's given. I don't know that right. she's giving yarn. Yeah, I think. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I, we are giving, I'm not sure what her, if she's just going to do a bunch, you know, a few things mm -hmm. or, or yarn fiber, but, and then the pattern giveaway. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is, I mean, I'm fine with giving a pattern, mm -hmm. a, you know, or we'll talk about a little more, but we'll give a, a Ravelry pattern if you're not on Ravelry. Ravelry, we can purchase it. Can we get and then mail it to them? Maybe. Are you allowed to do that? that? I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm so, I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll do something for you, <laughs> even if it's a little something, something. A little happy. Yeah. We'll do a little happy. So, because uh, we don't, we want to include y'all. Yeah. And honestly, I just need to go to the post office and see how much it costs to mail internationally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and if y'all know, let us know. Because sometimes I don't think it's that much because, like, you know, when we order stuff, like mm -hmm. when I w will warehouse, I mean, that was, they're in Canada, maybe. It was an outrage. Okay, so this is the yarn yes. that we're going to give away. Yay! It's really beautiful. It is Quartz by Pearl Soho. It's 65% Merino wool and 35% Surrey alpaca. Mm. And it is just the softest. Hey, this is really cool. Yeah, luscious. Oh, and it is um, uh, 420 yards each. So that's 840 yards. Yeah. That's a lot of yarn. Yeah. So it's really, really pretty. It is pretty. And I can't wait to see somebody get it and make I something know, out of it. I know. It hasn't been in my stash long. I actually got it to make something and I just haven't used it. And I thought, oh, that would be just so pretty. And yeah. I, and it's ridiculous. So that is going to be one of the gifts. And then we will either do a pattern or another small sum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now, and listen, it runs from the first day of summer, which nope. is tomorrow. Autumn. Oh, uh, uh, da. <laughs> fall. Fall. First yeah. day of, I want to do, su I don't really want to do summer mm -hmm. over. It's been a long summer. So the first day of fall, mm -hmm. September 23rd. To, to November 30th. To November 30th. Yeah. See, I just need to look at you every time there's a, a specific detail <laughs> and you can come up with that because she's good. Okay. So, um. So, do you know what you're going to use for it? Well, I, I do. I swatched both of these and I pulled them both out. This one <laughs> I have. I know. I was like, I, I, yeah, because I'm going to need every little bit oh, of this oh, one oh. if mm -hmm. I use this one. But I think this is what I'm going to use. That's very pretty. This is a deep dive stash. 
and I love it. It is soft. It is Joe Sharp. And us older knitters, you know, I mean, this, we don't, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't know that I've seen this in years. Yeah. Joe Sharp, it's Silk Road, I've got a piece of fuzz, Silk Road, Road DK Tweed, 85% wool, 10% silk, and 5% cashmere. Ooh. And it is, it's soft. Cashmere. It reminds me of uh, felted, Rowan felted tweed, mm -hmm. but it's softer. Yeah, it is softer. So I think this is the one I'm going to use. That's beautiful. I also have this one, mm -hmm. which is really I cute. I like the purple. I do too. Yeah, that's Because I think I can wear it. This one is more autumnal. Yes. Is that how you say that? Autumnal. Autumnal. I love that word. We didn't say that word growing up. We just said autumn. We weren't fancy like that. <laughs> so everybody uses autumnal. Wait, no. Autumnal. <laughs> I, th I mean, I think you're doing it. Uh, uh, Autumnal? <laughs> like, just do the M&M. Kind of <laughs> you say it. Okay. This is very... Autumnal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I think it would be cute, too. Yeah. You know? I think it would be. So, this one is still soft. It is a Kilbourne. It's scalp. I entertain her all the time. It's scalp. It's 100% wool. And, um, you know, it's really pretty. I like it color is coral heather this is made in Peru, so i do like it but mm -hmm. I, I think this is more fallish and I like this i think i can wear this probably fall and winter yeah i like the purple and i'm just gonna do i'm gonna do as pattern i'm probably gonna do a size three my bust is a 42 and a half did you see amy shears thing about you should actually measure your upper bust rather than what like podcast your is she? Uh, she's she just she's a pattern writer. Okay. And this is on her Instagram. Oh no. She did like the coloring book raglan. Oh okay. But she said to measure like your upper oh, bust. Oh, I did not know that. And she said that's more of the the fit that a good oh, fit you'll get okay. on your shoulders. Well, then I need stuff. to measure. But I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think the last I, few I've knit have been threes. Yeah. And they. But see, if you like how it fits, yeah. then that's what. You and need. I love the fabric of this. It's mm -hmm. it's. And once it's blocked, it will be, you know, it, there, it yeah. will be, you know, a thicker fabric, which right. is what I'm going for. Because all these, except for the very first one, right, is very, and it is a, you can't see through that first one, which was yeah. DK and mohair. Okay. It's just warm. Yeah. It's very warm. Yeah. So if I were doing another mohair in a rinoculus, I would do a fingering. Okay. I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't use a DK. Yeah. So that now what are you going to do? Well, we need to talk about this. Okay. So this I did, is it Camilla Fibers? Yes. I didn't bring a tag. Camilla Fibers, worsted weight yarn. Mm -hmm. This is the fabric and my gauge is not right. It's 18 oh. stitches per four uh -huh. inches instead of 14. 14. So I either need to do some math or I need to go up a needle size, but I don't, I kind of, I like the fabric. I like the fabric. Yeah. I like this fabric. So I would do the math and someone, I don't yes. remember who, but I will look it up again. We used your math. Yes. Because my on that Felix, Felix yeah. I was not getting the right stitch gauge. So we used the math and, and figured out what I needed to yeah. do. So it's something about you measure what your gauge is and then you multiply that by the anyway. Katie did it. I'm she's a mathematician and she's taught math and she went to school for math. So she she's not a is it you're not an arithmetician. Yeah, not an arithmetician. But she's a mathematician. So she was just like loving all yeah. of that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So she figured it out. So, uh, but was that on episode 15 or? I think it was 14. two episodes ago, maybe. So it would have been 14 mm -hmm. or something. Not including the fall one, so. Yes. Okay, so probably. Yeah. So w if we think about it, we'll, yeah. we'll do it. We'll maybe, maybe we'll, we'll put it up yeah, there or something. Down there. Okay. Uh, so you like this fabric. I do I like that fabric. I know, it doesn't feel too heavy. No, it and doesn't. I like but see that picture, yeah, I think that's yeah. a great fabric. Okay. That's going to be beautiful. It's drapey. Yeah. yeah. And see, look at that honor. It just is going to be gorgeous. Hold it up the room. So, um, so, uh, so those are our plans. Those are our plans for the moment. Now, they can change. <laughs> yeah. And listen, it usually, you need to knit at your own speed. Yeah. But you will find that this goes pretty quickly, especially after you get past this. Oh, man. This is a little... Mm -hmm. It's not hard, but you have to use your brain. Right. So after you get past there and you get down to here, it's just the stock in it. Round and round and round and round and round. That's awesome. It goes fast. 
So I generally can knit one in two or three weeks and we have two and a half months. Yeah. So if you knit two, then you enter two. And I think the way we're going to do it is you can do whips. Mm -hmm. So if you started one and just haven't had, had the inclination to finish it, now's a good time. Yeah. And also, are we going to do, does it have to be finished? No. I don't, no. So, so if you're in, along with your, you know, speed of knitting, yes. you know, if you don't, yeah. we want to, yeah, we want to include yeah. everybody. And sometimes come up. life happens like that last one where I had all the design elements <laughs> and I don't know if I could really call that a vernaculus <laughs> at this point, but anyway, um, life happens, mm -hmm. things happen, but if you just keep, show us your pictures along the journey, yeah. if you want to show us the yarn before you start and hashtag it, uh, that would be fun. And then when you get started, when you get into here, you know, ask, I know, uh, knit chat cafe has talked about the ranunculus. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, Selma has talked about it on her podcast, Little Big Knits, because mm. she's knit several. Okay. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of podcasters out there that yeah. have knit them, and they can give you good ideas. So, all that. This is, I wanted to show you this too. I am going to knit the, the Weekender, and this is the Honeycrisp hey, Dapple. That's so pretty. From uh, Brooklyn, yes, Brooklyn Tweed. Brooklyn Tweed, and it came quickly. That's so, awesome. this is, okay. yeah. It's a really, it's, it feels a lot like their shelter. It's mm -hmm. just, um, got cotton. yeah, it's got, uh, it's, you use needles five to seven, five and a fourth stitches to six stitches per inch, 165 yards. It's a DK weight. Uh, it's wool and spun, two ply, uh, micro merino. So it's a 60% U.S. merino and 40% cotton. So I really, That's I, so pretty. yeah, I'll probably start that at some point yeah too. the other thing is we almost i mean we're closer to 3000 than 2500 so <laughs> i don't know how close we're... but every time we hit the next thousand we always mm -hmm. give away usually sock yarn well our store our local yarn store ray bell just celebrated their 17th birthday of being in business so they had one skein of their uh, the, the the yarn they dyed for their you know their anniversary day mm -hmm. left so I bought it Yay. so that's what we're gonna give away yeah and this is it and it has some sparkles yeah I think they call it spirulina or something oh, yeah, see that yeah. silver in it that's so, so this is called Haku dyed by Sarah one of the owners of uh, the shop it's eighty five percent super wash merino ten percent nylon and five percent stellina Yay. and it's four hundred and eighty yards so. We're gonna give that, that and it's got, beautiful. yeah, it's got all kinds of beautiful, mm -hmm. you know. So that's gonna be fun. That's so we'll give that away. I don't know if we'll put something else with it. We just might, it just maybe, depends maybe on not. how we're feeling. Yep. If we're feeling festive, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. thank you to um, all those who watch. Yeah. We appreciate you. Who like, who subscribe. Yeah. That helps our channel in a yeah. Yep. Easy way. Yeah, it may be easy. Yeah, it may be easy. Sometimes if I'm, you know, yeah. Yeah. in a rush, it's like, yeah. nope. not today, but I will like them. Yeah. But I try to, you know, like and call mm -hmm. and support people mm -hmm. because, you know, it is, it does take effort. Yeah, it does. But yeah. it is, y'all are worth it and we enjoy it immensely mm -hmm. or, or we wouldn't do it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know how it is. When your life is busy, you kind of knock off the things that, yeah. you know, you don't enjoy. And that's one of our little babies. He's done. Yep. He's with granddaddy. He's and done. we're done. And we're done. Thank you guys for Thank joining Thank you for, us. hey, knit, no, fall into Rinoculus. Cal 2023. Yes. Join us. Join us. Bye.